Okay. All right. Who left the freezer door open? Good day, everyone, YouTube land. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's having another wonderful, lovely, and fantastic day, guys. Now, today, um, it hurts me and brings a, a lot of heavy burden onto my heart to learn we lost a friggin' legend today. Um, if Stan Lee doesn't ring a bell to you, if you do not know who this man is, he's a legend. He created lots of the Marvel superheroes you see today. He created my personal favorite, Spider-Man, and so many others. But Stan Lee's a legend, man, so may he rest in peace. His presence is definitely going to be felt around the world. I don't really know what to vlog today or do today. It just, uh, except for I was talking with Sarah, and she said it'd be nice to sit down and just kind of talk about the man, his legend, um, who he is and who he was and how he's impacted the cinematic universe and everything so uh, i don't really know what to do or how to vlog or how to be entertaining today guys so uh, if you're into stan lee and you love spider-man and superhero movies and the mcu guys it's definitely your vlog to stick around you'll love it it'll be a good time please you know comment below interact with us let us know your thoughts share some love for the man stan lee i'm just gonna go ahead and get this vlog started don't forget to stay happy stay positive stay in the mindset and uh, let's do this Stan Lee, the publisher of Marvel Comics, has probably been in the comic book business longer than anybody on Earth. He claims that Guinness is going to put him in the book of records, but that's not really true, is it? Well, they very well might. You know, as I had mentioned earlier, I think that I've probably written more stories that have been published than anybody who's ever lived. I started, I was about 17 and a half years old. I heard that this publishing company was looking for an assistant. And I didn't know that this had anything to do with comics. I just knocked on the door and I said, anybody want an assistant? And they walked me into this little room with two men named Joe Simon and Jack Kirby. And they were turning out the comics for the company and they said they need help. After a little while, they needed some editing. They, there were some dialogue bits that they didn't think were good. And they said, hey Stan, can you rewrite these? So I rewrote them. And after another little while, I was ending up writing stories for them. <clears throat> okay. I don't even know where to begin this portion of the, this, this part of the vlog. Um, they don't even need to hear Stan the man's name. No. Uh, you know, to even put them together. You just hear Marvel, you, hear, you think Stan Lee, you hear Stan yeah. Lee, you think Marvel. It's a heavy day. Yeah. for a lot of us so um i don't know what do you got to say about the man super super he he created something that literally helped people through the depression helped yeah. people cope with war i mean there was just so much that i mean there's there's so much more in those comics than superheroes so much more than just paper you know he created an entire world a world yeah the superheroes that kids look up to today and not just the kids today but i mean even us as kids or even kids mm -hmm. way back when i mean for it's been going on for years i mean he's just given so many of us hope and he pushed boundaries yeah he pushed boundaries absolutely well for example with the black panther like that was the the black panther was created when there was so much oppression and yeah, it, really it just was unknown he he just pushed the boundaries for it all. Absolutely. It did it and I don't think he cared one bit. No. He was like, This is who I want to be, this character. Yeah. I respect the man very highly. Oh yeah. It was a sad day. Yeah, I absolutely love the man. Always respected him. He created one of my all time favorite superheroes, Spider Man. Always be my favorite, hands down, no matter which universe you talk about. If you talk about Marvel or D C stuff, I always no matter what is hands down in any yeah. universe, Spider Man's gonna be my hands down hero. Love Spider Man and what he's just everything that Spider Man meant uh, to me and just what he went through as a kid and I related to him even more uh, obviously as a high schooler because he is a high schooler so uh, it was just um, super incredible love the yeah. guy love what he created I mean it's not not just us like we're literally not you know oh yeah we're not the only ones that are people. mourning so you know yeah. just I don't know he's yeah. what a man what a what a 
brilliant man. Mine personally is Logan from X-Men. I love X-Men so much. And actually, I just saw a really cool wallet today that I'm going to get. <laughs> <laughs> it's X-Men wallet. <laughs> I love the X-Men immediately. It, it introduced me into... It was actually, I think, one of my very first superhero films was mm. X-Men. Mm-hmm. X-Men was kind of the start as far as movie franchises go and mm-hmm. universes go as far as that goes x-men was the start of what we have today x-men was like one of the first comic book movies along with blade uh spider-man oh, yeah um those were a few of the big the first early 2000s those were some of the first movies to yeah. come out that kind of sparked this hey we need comic uh, book movies are still relevant and they they're are. still good they are and a lot of people say eventually that age is gonna die and i really don't know if it will i don't think it will at not least not in our going. time superheroes are just incredible and sometimes it's just the kind of entertainment and escape that we need they're great role models i mean i mean steve rogers he was a he's a great role model absolutely he really is he absolutely. you know he had nothing and he was yeah. you know and he still kept his his heart even he through his change, yes. even through everything. Through everything that they've been through. And one man, like, I mean, it wasn't just one man, but his his company created mm. everything. Yeah, but it was started with him. It did, it started with it started him. with him and his ideas mm-hmm. and put it on paper. And man's going to live on forever. Yes. Um, I mean, he's immortalized on paper, on screen. We have his cameos on all the great MC movies, which is one thing that we were talking about earlier. Yeah. We are oh, going to miss. That's going to be the hardest um, part to get I, through. I know all the MC movies that are coming out next year are already filmed and in, pro- in post-production and being worked on and edited and effects and all that jizzy jazzy stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, I know all that's done and, and wrapped. So the next year may be our last year with cameos. He may, I think he may have already shot because if the movies are done... Mm-hmm. Um, and they, you know, they shot four of his cameos a year or two ago, uh, in yeah. one day. So, well, I mean, he's, four movies, you know, yeah. so he, he can't, he couldn't do what he used to be able to do. So he, I mean, it's still amazing that he was still in it till the very end. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that, that just goes to show how much he loves his, you know, his, his, his world. Yeah. It's how much he loves his world. And I'm going to play this clip right here now because it speaks on so many levels and it's just, yeah. You know, I guess one person can make a difference. Enough said. That right there just speaks on so many levels. It doesn't even matter if, if that scene was in, you know, one of the worst spider-man marvel movies ever made spider-man 3 and uh it made... it's almost like he was talking about himself and not being and not in a selfish way either yeah it no. was like he did spark this whole new mm-hmm. just phase of our lives and everybody's lives of just these superheroes and those waves of, of hope and mm-hmm. everything and it was it's just incredible like what he did what he came up with marvel and dc are the top two comic book and movie yeah, franchise. Don't care about DC. Well, DC. I, I know, but I'm just saying, like, to be one of the top two yeah. in your in your you know genre, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. that is truly amazing. Absolutely. To be one of the most known and talked about names on the planet. Absolutely. One of my first in theater Marvel experiences was um, I want to say Spider Man Two. I don't think I saw the first one in theaters when I was a kid. Spider-Man 2 came out when I had, uh, right before I got my driver's license, and it took so much begging on my part for my mom to take run me to the theaters at midnight just so I could sit for two and a half theaters and watch Spider-Man 2. It was my very first midnight movie experience. It was my first Marvel in theater experience, and that night will forever live on my memories. And, you know, again, with, with what Stan created, I had I have that memory in the theater, and so it was, it was a good time. I actually mostly just remember, like I said, like going back to X-Men, Logan being like my favorite character. I just remember seeing him on screen and, and like really resonating with him because, you know, he's he's gone through some hard stuff and yeah. I had gone through some hard stuff. So What's funny too is um, I wouldn't really, it wasn't really our first like technical date date, um, but our first movie that we went and saw together in the theaters was yeah. Logan. Uh, this yeah. is when we were just friends and getting to know each other. Um, mm-hmm. Our first real movie date was Power Rangers. Yeah. 
tigers. That was our first one. Um, Thank which you. will that'll be saved for another vlog when we when we approach our two year. We'll probably we'll probably talk about our story next year. Stay tuned for that video coming in March or no April. When should we talk wow. about it? When should we talk about? Because we met in March, two years ago. This coming March, and then we date start dating in April. We can do a two parter. Ooh. Do the first month of us friends and talk about our how we met and how it became and then we leave it on a cliffhanger on and then I oh. find out next week you know or find out next month kind of thing. I don't know. yeah that'd be cute <laughs> go Dragon Ball Z style find out next week on Ryan and Sarah's live <laughs> anyway I'm getting off yeah, track here getting this off track. this vlog is about the man um, yes. I feel like there's really not much more you can put into words just about how legendary and great this man was oh, and man. just how shook the world was today he was respected by so many people even people i didn't even know were comic book people or know, anything yeah. they were posting about him so i mean even if you don't know who he is or watch comic books or you do read or do any of that stuff it's he's he's made a presence and an impactful just memory on mm -hmm. everyone and you know fan or not i mean as sad as it is today you know we don't really want to like mourn his death and be sad about it we want to celebrate his life and remember him for who he was who he is all that stuff and not just mourn him because i guarantee the kind of guy he was he wouldn't want us fans to sit here and cry over him he would want us to pop in a movie and remember his legacy open up a comic book and read it and mm -hmm. remember who he was and what he's done that's what i believe even yeah. though i've never personally met the man that's what i believe that he would want for all of us fans is to oh, celebrate yeah. his life and remember him for who he was yeah i feel like that's how he would want it one more person um, uh, who I know meant a lot, a great deal too, um, and everything is a friend of mine, Josh, uh, who lives in Jefferson City. We were talking earlier about it, and I did ask him to send me a picture, which you'll see right here, of him. Uh, this is when he met Stanley during a con. He texted me, and I'm gonna read this just because this is what he had to, uh, what he had to say about uh, Stan himself. So Josh says that he was a really nice guy and that he made sure that every fan got to get an autograph and picture. He had a, few, a fun Q&A, and when asked about the MCU movies, he said he will say whatever he wants. Without him, there wouldn't be an MCU, basically. So, so Josh had to say, um, it sounds like he was a great guy. So happy that he had at least had the chance to meet him, and I know somebody who got the chance to meet him, yeah. so we can talk about this incredible legend and hear, you know, mouth to mouth, uh, experience to experience, about yeah. you know in a way i feel like we've yeah. had the honor of meeting him passed down from that experience so watching stan lee's movies you you do kind of get like you are close to him because you've seen yeah. how his movies have have adapted and and grown and i mean the mcu then versus mcu now is just uh -huh. it's amazing to see the growth and i think that the things that they have done I, I, it is just phenomenal. There's not a single movie that I dislike. I mean, there are certain movies that are like, eh, not as good as the others. Yeah. But they're all good in their own way. Absolutely. They're all good in their own way. Absolutely. I think that's where we're going to leave it. Um, mm -hmm. Just basically wanted to speak our mind or thoughts. How much of an impact that, he, that man left on uh, the world. Definitely be truly missed, sorely missed. Um, he will always live on forever here in our hearts. Oh, and forever. like I said, he is immortalized forever on screen and in the comic books and everything we will always remember this legendary man who has done so much to help so many people mm -hmm. in a time of need it helped a lot and i like i said i know spider-man helped a great deal uh for me and that's another reason why he's my favorite superhero plus i mean how cool would it be just you know fl <laughs> fling around the cities like that like how cool is that yeah. i mean come on and yeah, spidey senses cool. you know super strength cool i will I almost cursed there. I almost said cool ass costume, but I did it anyway. Ooh, yeah. I did it anyway. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. I don't I don't know how much I would like having spider powers because I don't, you like, don't even spiders. like spiders in the first place. I do love Spider Man. I guarantee if I was Spider Man, you probably wouldn't date me just because I have spider like personality. I would just ask you <laughs> to make sure that you talk to every spider and tell them to stay out of the house. Yeah, I'll go. I, I could do that for you. I'd be like, alright, spider, I'm sorry, my girlfriend don't like you got to go or else you're gonna be squashed. One more for the man. <laughs> Yeah, one more, one more. <laughs> All right, y'all, that's going to be it. Thanks so much for sitting and, and listening to us on a kind of stray away from our normal vlogs. It's all about him, guys, but we'll be back tomorrow our normal uh, vlogs. We also got Movie Trivia Tuesday uh, starting basketball tomorrow as well. So we got basketball and Movie Trivia Tuesday, so it'll be an interesting day for sure. So. Yep. And thank you 
for everything. I know it means a lot. So thank you. And with everything said, as always, everyone, please feel free to like and share. And comment below. And we will see you all tomorrow. tomorrow. I must have absolute silence. Excelsior! Oh. <laughs>